and welcome to episode number 109 of Creating a Legend. I am the FM Novice. You join us today for a trip to Spain and Atletico Madrid in the European Champions League. First knockout round, first leg. An awful lot of time has passed since we were last together. That was six last game back in November. We have been unbeaten, but that's to be expected. That's, that's what we do. Four Sklar away was the first game, two goals from... One from Kovacenko, one from Dragovic gave us a 2-0 victory in that one before a 2-0 victory away at Dynamo Kiev to Pezzi and Verpik with a late goal. Home win against Alexandria 5-0 and then Dortmund 6-0 victory in the Champions League just to, to confirming the fact that we were definitely going through. And then we beat Tournaments 2-1 in the last league game before the winter break. Gascon Kevin Rollins scoring two goals before he left the club. Spoiler alert there. And we just played a few friendlies to get us back into bit of match fitness before we play Atletico Madrid today. Before we look at the players out, let's look at some players that have come in. Two signings. Victor Salmonson has come in. He's Swedish. Signed on a free transfer from Dewar Gardens. He looks to be an okay central midfielder option. Some nice mental attributes there. Teamwork is good. Vision is good. Positioning and work rate are quite nice as well. Nice physicals as well. Technicals are okay. He will provide a decent backup as and when required. EA is out for the next four weeks though, which is a bit of a shame, but he will he'll do a decent job when called upon, I'm sure. And I have signed a young five-star potential Ukrainian player from Shakhtar for initial £5 million, potentially going up to £15 million if he does what he needs to do. Alexei Sedov. Primarily brought in to be back up to Mark Stepesi at that right wing back stage at the moment. But I like what I see from this guy. Really good determination. Technicals require a bit of work. Physicals are pretty decent. So there's definitely a solid base to work on. And he's only 19, so he's going to improve a lot. So as mentioned, Gaston Kevin Rollin has moved on. He had only six months left on his contract and wasn't really that keen on stay, sticking around and to be honest he was no longer a first team regular for me he, he sort of slipped down to substitute at best so i decided to cash in on him got seven and a half million he goes to rbl which i'm assuming is in german league i think that's leipzig or something like that so he cashed in and he has moved on so after rolling the other guys that have moved on are all probably squad players we have lost Valery Zoya, Daniel Tewu, Mikhail Chernik, Vitaly Dashuk, and Vladislav Tankiewski. All of them did an okay job when they played. Chernik and Tankiewski were. They've got a special place in my heart because these guys have been around for a fair number of seasons, but they were they were out of contract. They were nowhere near my first team squad, so I've got a little bit of money for them. And they've moved on to the Ukrainian first division, which is probably more their level. Team for today's game is Milosavic in goal, Yepsen, Moltsev and Kovachenko are my three ball playing central defenders. Ganchev at left wing back, Moyano at right wing back, Ferrari and Ekrem in two central midfielders. Yanev, Ario and Dragovic complete the lineup up front. Our record in Madrid is quite good. We played these guys two seasons ago at this stage of the competition and we beat them in both of the legs. So I am quietly confident we can do a good job here as we have an early chance for the ball form to Yanov inside the penalty box he forces Leon into a good save and we get our first corner of the game after only three minutes that's going to be Ekrem to take plays it to the edge of the box Ario picks up the loose ball shoots from distance and that's a comfortable save from Leon two good opportunities for us in the first few minutes of this game suggest we might have a good chance in this game but the ball breaks for Van den Eyden Van den Eyden shoots and opens the scoring for Atletico Madrid after two good opportunities for us, we are being done by the sucker punch. A big goal kick from the goalkeeper. A favourable bounce and Van den Eyden was through and he made no mistake beating Milosavic in the goal to give Atletico an early lead. Right, let's have some sort of recovery from us, please, boys. It's the first goal we've considered against Madrid as well. Both the times we played them two seasons ago, we've beaten by, by two, I think it was 2-0 and 3-0 if memory serves me correctly. But we are not in this at the moment which is a bit frustrating to say the least throw in fernandez back to lopez now fernandez again plays back inside to Lilensky. looks for van den Eyden. van den Eyden makes it 2-0 oh my word we have done very very poorly here van den Eyden had so much space there in that penalty box it's blaming the goalkeeper here but 
I'm not sure if you can blame the keeper. Possibly. Maybe the defender as well. But all it matters is we are 2-0 down. We're going to go to attacking straight away. We need, to, we need to fight back and we need to do it now. Isaac breaking through though. We have fallen asleep here completely. Puyo down the line. Lopez plenty of space. Can he cut it in? Isaac can he score? He does. Alexander Isaac makes it 3-0 to Atletico Madrid. A disastrous first half in Madrid. Two Marco van der Nijlen goals and a goal from Alexander Isaac. Not changing anything at half time. Just giving the boys an absolute rollicking to say, Oi, boys, get better. As Madrid looked to break, Isaac van der Nijlen was a good tackle. Coyo back. Oh, it's poor, and that is four. Peter Zielinski makes it 4 0. Maiano passing it back straight into his path. We wanted a good start in this second half. And we have absolutely not got it. <coughs> My word, things have gone very, very, very badly wrong for us. Moyano, Jepsen, Maltsev, Ario. Even if we scored now, I don't see us getting back into it. Ganchev shoots from distance, but it's comfortably caught by Leone. Could tell the boys to show some passion. So frustrating. We haven't lost this season over 90 minutes until today. Van der Neide is through again. Can he make it five? He doesn't, that's a poor miss. Should have done, really. But look at the stats, they're very even, but they have just been absolutely clinical. We will make some changes because we're just not in the races at all. Ferrari has a shock, is gonna come off for of Vorpik. Vorpik is gonna come on for Yanev as well, but I'm just making changes for changes sake, really. All my defenders, Played abysmally well today. Abysmally well? That's not even a phrase, is it? Zielinski now on the board. Back to Lopez. Andreas now on the wing. Back to Zielinski. Lopez. Crossfield ball. Creo. They're just toying with us now. They know they've won the game. Van der Neid is through. Van der Neid hits the outside of the bars. Cleared away to Coyo. Isaac. 5 0. 5 0. And that goal is being blamed on the goalkeeper as well. It's at least three of them he has seen blame for. And with 30 minutes left in this tie, we are still... And we've just been absolutely destroyed. And there's not a lot more to say. I think as episodes go, that wasn't a good one. Atletico Madrid 5. Helios, nil. We've still got the second leg, but I can't see us getting something out of it somehow. Look at those average ratings. DJ Milosevic, 5.8. Gantia, 5.9. Centre-backs, no better, really. A really, really bad defensive showing. They were ruthless, and they have absolutely destroyed us. So, that is that episode done, and... This will be the announcement that the series will end at the end of this current season. The main principal reason behind that is the league is far too easy, so it's not really exciting to play. The only thing I'm playing for is the Champions League, and as you can see, we are a long, long, long way away from winning that, and I don't think I need to... It doesn't feel like it'd be right to carry on just being playing the Champions League because it'll be no different for you guys you've just seen those Champions League episodes but for me playing it is going to spend a heck of a long time getting to that point and I don't want to lose this the love I've got for this save because I still do love it I just think it's time to move on for something else but we will still have a couple more episodes to go we will have the return leg as we try and overturn a 5-0 deficit Let's see how that goes. And then when we get crowned the Ukrainian League title, and probably one more at the end, just to sort of see off the week, really, because this will come out on a Tuesday. And so it makes sense to end the series on a Friday. So for me, the FM Novice, to you, the audience, thank you very much for watching, as always. And I'll talk to you again soon. Good night.